Learning with Miss Literacy, the singing reading librarian. And don't forget to like and subscribe. The Collington County Memorial Library presents So You Want to Be Like Me, Dentist. I am so happy to see you. Hello and welcome to the So You Want to Be Like Me series. I am Miss Sheila, your singer, storyteller, author, trainer, YouTuber, and children's librarian. I am most happy to present our child guest for today, Miss Jordan Melton. Hi, my name is Jordan and I want to be a dentist. Here are some fun facts about Jordan. I like to play tag. I like hanging out with my family. My favorite food is sushi. My favorite subject is math. My favorite color is pink. Well, Jordan, you get to ask the dentist at the Carlton Medical Center all the questions you need. Yes, here they are. Let's meet them. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Carlton Dental Associates with our dentist and dental assistant. And we're excited about all we're going to learn today. So stay in your seats and let's get ready to listen. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Harold M. Rose III, here at Carlton Dental Associates. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Bourdain. I'm a dentist here at Carlton Dental Associates. Hey, Jordan. My name is Janaya, and I'm a dental assistant at Carlton Dental Associates. And my job is to provide hands-on support to each dentist so they can efficiently care for each patient. Fun fact. According to our dentist, you should always use a soft bristle toothbrush and never a medium or hard bristle toothbrush when brushing your teeth. Do you love your job? Hey Jordan, I love my job. Here's a fun fact about my job. When patients are sad about teeth and mouth problems, I help them smile and get happy again. <laughs> yes, I love my job. Fun fact about my job is most dentists are very versatile. They have to know something about every aspect of dentistry. Here's a fun fact. Hard, crunchy foods like celery, carrots, and apples help clean your teeth naturally. What do you need to do to become a dentist? Hey Jordan, this is Dr. Rhodes again. To become a dentist, you need to be very good in math and science. You need to graduate from an accredited college. You need to take and pass the dental aptitude test known as the DAT. You also need to get accepted and graduate from dental school. Jordan, this is Dr. Gordine. It would also help just to make sure that you're really interested in dentistry to ask to shadow a volunteer at, at a family dentist office. And the Colleton Dental Associates would be a perfect place to start. Here's another fun fact. Americans spend $25 billion on candy, but only $2 billion on dental care products. Now that's a problem, kids. What character traits do I need to become a dentist? Jordan, there are a few character traits that you will need to be a good dentist. One of them is persistence. You may not get it right the first time, but keep trying. Patience. Take your time, do it right. And the last thing I can recommend, because dentistry is a business, is having good business skills. Hey Jordan, Dr. Rhodes again. Here are some additional character traits of a dentist. You must have very good interpersonal skills because you will be dealing with all kinds of people. You must be detail-oriented and pay very close attention to details. And you also uh, need exceptional manual dexterity. And by all means, remember, as a dentist, you have to listen to your patients because they are the boss. And Jordan, being a dentist means that I help you take care of your mouth from birth through adulthood. Here's another fun fact. Tooth enamel is the hardest structure in the human body. Did you know that? Do you do during the day as a dentist? Hey Jordan, during the day as a dentist, I clean teeth, I restore teeth, I replace teeth, I educate patients on oral hygiene, and I treat gum disease. Which leads us to this fun fact. Teeth can have more than 26 different shades from pearly white to brown. So thanks, doctor. What do you do during the day as a dentist? 
And Jordan, during the day, there are some things that I do. I do extractions, I remove teeth that can't be saved. I do root canals and teeth that have really large cavities that need to be saved. Or I may also check in patients and introduce them to the practice. Well, I can see why this fun fact is true. The salary of a dentist in rural areas in the United States is $171,530 a year. They deserve it. What are the top three things you like about your job? Jordan, this is Dr. Gordine here. One, I like meeting new people every day. Two, I help people get out of pain. Hey Jordan, this is Dr. Rhodes. And the third thing is making patients happy and improving their quality of life. And of those three, my favorite is making people happy, improving their quality of life. Jordan, this is Dr. Gordine. And of the three things that I like about my job is meeting new people every day because everybody has a story. Well, here's a fun fact for you. The average woman smiles 62 times while the average man smiles about eight times a day. They must have a better story. Hmm. <laughs> How many hours in a day do you put in as a dentist? I generally practice six to eight hours per day. Hey Jordan, this is Dr. Rhodes. My average workday is approximately nine hours per day. Here's another fun fact. The average amount of money left by the tooth fairy in 1950 was 25 cents. In 1988, it was $1. The going rate now is $2 per tooth. How many years have you done this? Hey Jordan, this is Dr. Rhodes again. I have been practicing for 34 years and five months. And this is Dr. Gordine. I've been at it for about 17 years. If you can make more money, would you leave your job? Hey Jordan, this is Dr. Rhodes. If I could make more money doing something else, I would not stop practicing dentistry. If I could make more money, would I leave this job? Jordan, I'd have to say no. I really enjoy doing what I do. Here's another fun fact. Once a cavity has started, treatment by a dentist is needed for the tooth to be repaired and remain healthy. There's one more question. Where do you get your inspiration? Practicing dentistry has always been a lifelong dream of mine. Um, I decided in the fifth grade that I wanted to become a dentist. And ever since then, I've studied dentistry uh, at the library in high school. I studied um, at Francis Mayan College in Florence, South Carolina as a biology major and I went on to Howard University College of Dental Medicine and matriculated there and uh, did a residency at Meharry Hobbit Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, did a residency in Detroit, Michigan and now I'm here in Walter. I've always wanted to own my own dental practice. We started this from scratch, my wife and I, and we we're very fortunate to have uh, someone like Dr. Gordine come along. The name of this practice is Colleton Dental Associates, and so we look forward to having associates come in and leave and go and start their own practices. And uh, we feel like we're seeding the state of South Carolina and the United States of America by having people come in, dentists come in, young men and young women come in, learn and hone their trades here in Walterboro, South Carolina, and go back out and duplicate what they what they see uh, being done here. Uh, my, I guess we were so inspirational. My daughter also decided that she wants to be a dentist just like her father. So um, my inspiration comes from years and years and years of working real hard and giving back to the community, giving back to the state, and giving back to this country. Where do I get my inspiration? I get my inspiration uh, every morning because I know that when I arrive at work, I'll be able to change the lives of people uh, for the better. Here's another fun fact. People who drink three or more glasses of soda each day have 62% more tooth decay, fillings, and tooth loss than others. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope you learned as much as I did from the doctors at the Carlton Dental Associates. And here is our final fun fact. Most babies get their fluoride from chicken flavor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Gordine, Dr. Rose, and Janaya. Thank you, doctors. And for those of you who want to scan and check out all of these to learn about being a dentist, please do. 
The book is about a dentist. The YouTube video is, do you have what it takes to be a dentist? And there's a DVD at the library that you can check out of how Berenstain Bears deal with their teeth. Uh-huh. This video would not be successful without Dr. Harold Rose, Dr. Jeffrey Gordine, Jordan Melton, L. Florence Oliver, Janiya Britt, and yours truly, Shirley Cares. So you want to be like me, dentist. See you the next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.